Ago. Makati, I recorded. Oh, yeah. Hey, come around, So, what's it even? A doom! A doom no! Light off! A rad day! What would you do light? So, what's that? What do you say? No more do light no! What do you say? No more so! So, I'm report, I'm report! Eh, oh no! A black crow! A black crow! And a poor business you want to! You know, poor! Kind of a small mountain or a hill, be so, uh huh? So that's why you call it a report. Good. Ah, uh, which one again? Oh, no, that's something my child has been in your So I'm in no. So I'm in no muso or he no. You say, are you in my car? You swear. Yeah, you're in my bus, so I'm in. Now, what do you have? Swano. Let me call. Canteen Chrono. Canteen no. Hey, I audition this year. We are this year. Canteen. We are the canteen. We are the year. Canteen. Can you forget that? Since I'm coming, I wish I could have been back. I'm going to eat you. So you are taking a kind lesson from me. I lost. 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 I so, you know what I heard is that those times when they are going to war, they come and leave their wives there. Uh-huh. Then the YouTube will go and look for a jar. Okay. Okay. In the war, when Asantis were fighting for their independence, the, the tribes came to help them. So, for instance, the Northerners came to help them. So, after the funeral, they decided to give them land to settle. So when they settled, they named the land Ba. Ba means father. Gave me the land. So Bantama. Oh, I love the story. Hey, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Trust it. Trust it. Trust it. Hey, you you love the Bantama story. It's a very nice story. So Bantama. Hey, Kum Asi. There's a dia called Kum. So Kum dia Nasi. Tell me, Chair. What about B? Can it be? Sam, correct. Kum Asi. Kumasi is Sandra. Aha, so you planted a kum.
day three of the heritage caravan and we are off on one of uh, the longest trips on this particular caravan i'm talking about 10 hours on the road from kumase all the way to bogatanga in the upper east region in kumase we slept at the Noda hotel at Fumesia, and now we're on the road heading into the upper east region Bogatanga. Listen, patrons are super excited after that pool party last night. It's been amazing. Nothing short of excitement. It's been brilliant so far. And you can tell there are those that are saving their energy for the long ride. There are those that have begun jamming already once we settle from Kumase. And there are those, you know, the cosmopolitan ones, those that are staying in between there somewhere, They're stuck in between the fun and, of course, the relaxation. But all in all, it's been brilliant, totally exhilarating, and there's so much more that lies ahead, even as we kickstart day three of the Heritage Caravan 2023. Follow this journey, we'll bring you some more highlights, sights, and sounds of the 2023 Heritage Caravan. Hi! Hi. My name is Eddie Nam. I'm Jackie. I'm Kusin. Yeah, and we're on bus three, like the fun bus on the train. And today is day three. Woo! Day three. Yeah. So we are heading to Bulga, and I can't wait for our cultural night tonight. Like you will see me do all the traditional dances. Like I'm true Ghanaian, as you can see, we are repping our heritage shirts from CTFM. Thank you so much for putting together this trip. Like this is a trip of the lifetime. Like you should be here. You have to be here. Jackie. It's amazing. It's amazing to be here. I mean, if you if you if you ever get a chance, don't miss out on this. Be here. It's amazing. And tomorrow we are going to see the crocodiles, and I just can't wait. Yeah. Some people, some. People. So we place. just we just passed the Jawadom, the famous yeah. Jawadom. Yeah. 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 A few minutes ago. Yeah. We yeah. Did with and our eyes. It's, it's, it's nothing like what they, what they said in the movie. Yeah. It's yes. like any other town, and we are. Where, where are we now? Somewhere, somewhere on the road, yeah, yeah. heading towards Tamale, this, this one, and the journey so far has been all it's traveling, yeah. traveling, traveling, traveling. So today, yeah. it's all about traveling. We get to Tamale, we sleep, and then we go and see the famous crocodiles. Yeah. I, can, I, can, I can't wait. Yeah, we can't wait. See you on the other side. Yeah, on the other side. Bye. Bye.
A hundred kilometers ago, we were in Tamale. Now we are in Wale Wale. Another 60 kilometers will be in Bogatanga. So, this is also the northeast region. So, uh, we've left the northern region. Effectively, we are in the northeast region. In about 30 or so minutes, we shall be in the upper east region. So, Wale Wale is also connected to someone special in Ghana, someone famous, you can guess. It's generally a Muslim community. Naleruku is a star. And in fact, Naleruku is also one of the traditional uh, centers for the entire north. You can group the people of the north into two. You have the Molly that one people, and then the other group made up of uh, the Kasina, the Gunja, and, and, and the others here. Yeah. Yeah. So, as far as the Molly that one is concerned, the is very, very, it's like an ancestral home. And that's become the capital of the Northeast. So, not too far from here, you know, you've heard of the Gambadas Cup. Yeah, we may see flashes of it. So, we are still in the savannah, as you can see, and I'm sure some of you have learned today that when we see horizon, it's not only at the beach that you see horizon. You can also see horizon in the savannah, just as you see it in the desert. Yeah. But the beauty is that even beyond the horizon, sometimes you see hills. You see hills rising um, and sometimes you see some of the best sunsets in places like this so let's keep looking left you get a glimpse of a gorgeous sunset so someone also mentioned a snake at the uh, the women's the witch camp yeah the witch, the witch camp so it's still yeah it's still it's still around it's not because you can't disband it because that is where you know tradition is strong but in that camp, they, they feel they belong, they belong. So let's talk about the donkey for a moment. Uh, some of you have seen one or two, right? Yes. Okay. So there used to be um, a more dominant part of the landscape. But gradually, we are becoming extinct. And that's the word to use. Uh, about five, six, seven years ago, I learned that the Chinese are interested in the donkey. So they put money down and then people kill the donkey and bring the parts to them. And then they ship them away. 
so it's becoming hard to see them. But seriously, the donkey played several roles. Uh, you would have seen women having, let's say, water. They, they go to the water side, fetch it, and then they connect it to the donkey cart. Even children. Okay, so it helps in side things. It also helps on the market because you can't you can't carry your items on on a bicycle, right? Farm produce. But if you have a donkey cart, it helps. So there are so many ways in which these people connect to the donkey. Here they call it Bunga. Yeah, they call it Bunga. And um, there are myths. Okay, so you can see a few to our left. We just bypass them. Donkey meat is supposed to be very healthy. It's supposed to be very healthy. I've not. It's supposed to be very healthy because it doesn't get sick. When it gets sick, it dies. Typical. So it's a myth that's supposed to be off. Um, there are also myths around it. They say if you pack items on it, if you pack items on the bunga, and those are items happen to be stolen items, it will struggle with your roof. You may have to. If you are putting items, roofs on the bunga, and they are stolen items, you won't have it easy. So when that is happening, people are around with this items. <laughs> because it's suspicious. <laughs> and then sometimes they say that it's able to foresee if something bad is about to happen in the household. So it's it, it can it can weep in the middle of the night. Yeah, it can weep in the middle of the night. So then the family will have yeah. So that's been that for you. <laughs> so this is the point I'll share with you some of the books that I've written. Uh, some of the things I tell you are captured here in more details. Yeah, so the very first one, Tickling the Ghanaian, Encounters with Contemporary Culture. It's about Ghanaian lifestyle, Ghanaian tradition, and Ghanaian culture. So anything you think about, you can find it here. That explains how we do our things from colonial times, how Christianity has affected the way we dress, the way we eat, the way we do funerals, it's all here. Particularly the Ghanaian also has two of my articles that are CNN journalists are wrote. Wow. And then I have a sense of Savannah. A sense of Savannah is my first book. So it's very dear to my heart. I traveled across the entire three northern regions. Spent night, spent Christmas, spent, spent Valentine's Day and all. And I captured it in a sense of savannah. Tales of a friendly walk through northern Ghana. Then the third one is Romancing Ghana Land. It's a sequel to Tickling the Ghanaian. So, so this is a book that tells you about the beauty of your country, Ghana. Okay, so it's also a travel across the entire Ghana, actually. So every region is here. And then another realm, so Amejofe is also in Romancing Ghana. Just as Blue Waterfall. So the final book I'm holding here is Hamatan, a cultural profile of Northern Ghana. I did this book because I thought we don't know a lot about this country, especially the north. Okay, so northern cuisine, uh, donkey, shea butter, they are all in here to make you understand how to relate to this place and to see the richness of our country. I have a couple on the bus, not too many. If you're interested, I'll just let you have one. Uh, maybe if not for yourself, because you've heard, you've seen, some of the things, but your young ones at home, okay, you can carry some to them. I'll, I'll autograph it for you. You give it to them at home, and then they know that yes, you actually went. Out.
community. After this, we will have a little bit. Pray that God is the best in the day. And who he is and where he comes from. Uh, excuse me to say this. For us, so that thing that we have money. How to motivate the dogs or those who are doing For them to do more, I mean, listen, this way. That's what I do. Thank you. Thank you. 